Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's DJ Shaw One King Legend coming at you here with another video. All right, what we have here is a generator. This one is by Wesson House. If you've watched my short, you've seen a little clip of it when I first got it. Um, had it a couple of weeks now, so I'm going to do the first startup. All right, so I haven't used it yet. This will be my first time starting. I did go ahead and put some gas in there. It does hold 4.7 gallons. All right. And the runtime on that, I believe, is about um, 11 hours or so. Um, don't quote me on that, but it's pretty long. All right. Um, the reason why I got this um, generator here is because it can also use propane. All right. So there goes the propane attachment. Um, it does come with the hose. All right. So you can hook your propane bottle up to it and so forth. All right. All right, first things first with this generator, they took the oil out. So what it does come with is the oil tube for you to be able to um, put the oil in there. And it does come with a bottle of oil also. All right, so this is the first thing you have to do is put your oil in there. What you do is this little tab right here. Unscrew this. Unscrew this little knob. Screw this thing on there all the way, screw it tight, and you just pour your oil this way. All right, so it's going to be connected to that port, and your funnel will be sticking up like this, and you pour your oil down in there. Okay, so there's no need to lean this to the side or do anything crazy to get the oil in there. All right, just screw this on, bend it up, and pour your oil in there pretty much the whole bottle. All right, but you can check as you go along. All right, I did about three quarters. Okay, so um, that's the first things first before you even think about starting it up. But once you get it out the box, what you're gonna need to do is put your wheels on. All right, it's pretty simple. Put your wheels on. Just got a pin and a hook. Um, I'll show you the paper here. Alright, so it's just a pin, you slide in, and you put your little um, clip to hold the wheel on the inside with the washer. Alright, so that's the very first thing after you take it out the box. Alright, so the box that it comes in is not too great. I mean, it's not really packaged like with foam or anything like that. It's just cardboard and pretty much strapped together. You know, um, I watched the delivery guy, he had a hard time with it. And he basically just kind of banged it in my driveway and left it, right? So it did have a little scratches on it on the side because, you know, it's pretty heavy, right? So um, you can expect a few scratches on yours because it's just cardboard wrapped around and, and uh, strapped. There's probably like one piece of thick cardboard to kind of protect, I guess, uh, maybe this side. All right, so uh, you can expect a little scratches and you know, a little dent or so, but everything is all right. All right, so um, after you put that on, you will need to put the legs on also. There's some, uh, there's some little feet. Here we go, right there. All right, it's like two, two bolts you just screw up. Uh, pretty simple, uh, can't go wrong. All right, so those are the feet right there. Probably can't see it, but there's some feet right there, and um, that's pretty much it. You know, raise your handle and then you can move it around. All right, I don't consider trying to move it around before you put the wheels on, so just break the box open, put your wheels on, and then you can lift that handle and you can drag it around as you need to. All right, so like I said, I've already put the gas in there, and it does have gauge and everything. I'll give you a full walk around and let you see what it looks like. Alright. There's the back half. Alright. Okay. So just kind of letting you see what it looks like here. Alright. So this also has a carbon uh, dioxide detector, so 
if you are using this in an enclosed area and it detects uh, too much um, carbon dioxide, it will automatically shut off. Alright, so that's a plus. You shouldn't be using this inside anyway. It should be used outside only. Okay, rotate generator outside, away from the house. Alright, not close to the house, but away from the house. Get you a long enough cord, 50 feet, 100 feet, whatever you gotta do. Make sure it's at least minimum 12 gauge. I wouldn't plug anything in here if it's not at least 12 gauge or lower. Okay. And let me let you see the other side here. The handle does fall down. everything there all right so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start this up first thing you want to do is turn on your gas gas this is gonna go through to the carburetor all right here's your choke all right what you want to do is put it in the on position when you're starting for the first time Anytime it's been sitting for longer than, you know, a few minutes or so, you're going to need to re-choke it, you know, 30 minutes or longer, I think. Just like a lawnmower, you know, put it on choke and you pull that string right here. And I think also, you need to make sure the switch is on, okay? So, that's off. That's your on. I would also uh, turn the breaker off. Okay, this is your breaker here. So I'm going to be using the 120 volt. I won't be using um, 220 at the moment. But I'll let you see what the 220 looks like. 240 at least, 30 amps. L1430R connector. Alright, and here's your TT30R 120-30 amp. Okay, looks like a dryer plug. All right, in here you have 120, 520R. Okay, so 120 volt, 20 amp. And there you go, your two plugs. Would've been nice if it was four, but you, know, you get what you pay for. So this goes for about a hundred, uh, six hundred and fifty dollars, pretty much at Lowe's, Home Depot. All right, so it's pretty much a thousand thousand watts per hundred dollars. All right, which is not bad. They have one that's about twelve hundred dollars, which is uh, twice as much, probably about twelve thousand watts. All right, so I do have other models. All right, but um, I don't think I really needed that one right now. This is pretty much if the power goes out of my house, I can power my refrigerator and some lights and you know my fish tank and so forth. All right. And if I want to use my sound system, I can plug it up, you know, if I ever decide to go to the park or something, something like that, you know, or different events, if I have something I can use, all right? So it's pretty much, you know, um, good to have, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and try to fire it up. Let me first uh, let you see some of the specs here. Use the lighting, I'm outside in the shade, so uh, I'm just um, letting you see everything right here. Alright, I'm not an electrician, I'm not a professional in that department, I don't know anything about generators. I'm a newbie just like you if you're thinking about purchasing one of these, alright? This is my first time dealing with one of these, so um, don't ask me a bunch of questions about you know anything uh, too technical all right this is my first one I've seen them all the time I've seen people use them but I've never really used one I've never had to all right so uh, we're gonna give it a start up here all right I have lots of lawn mowers so uh, I don't think this could be as bad as starting a lawn mower so bear with me here while I pull the string see what happens all right
so that worked out pretty well 119 volts um, I do have it plugged into this cord all right as you can see the light is on it's a 12 gauge wire I do have a controller and I'm gonna use this JBL SRX 118 no, 115 all right so this is a 15 inch JBL SRX 15 and I'm gonna try the RBG uh, subwoofer also just to see what I get so let me turn that on and see see what I get all right so all right, all right. All right so that's on Go ahead and turn the song here. All right, so it's working. Let me go ahead and put the subwoofer on also. And the generator is not that loud. I thought it would be louder than that. My, my lawnmower is louder than the generator, so uh, that's pretty good. I mean, um, in the case of something, it won't be uh, too loud at night. All right. I'm gonna go back and check the voltage also to see uh, what is it at while I'm playing. that it might drop down to 108 and so with the bass playing all right I'm gonna restart that I'll go outside and check it I'll turn the bass up a little bit and see what we get playing as I left it all right so that's pretty good you know I'll take that any day all right 117 is pretty good I was saying 108 110 once the bass and everything is playing so pretty much I can add I would say two more speakers and I'll be all right if I wanted to all right so um, that's pretty good um, wouldn't try putting on an amplifier right now but um, I don't know I'm gonna try it after I finish this video, all right? Because I'm just curious to see how much it can handle. All right, so uh, yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching, DJ Show One King Legend, all right? And that's the Western House 5300. All right, first startup, all right? Powering the DJ setup, all right? Thanks for watching, catch me on the next one.